Alright guys, my batteries are fully recharged after laying on a beach in North Carolina for the past couple of weeks. And waiting for me is what, if I can get the whole thing framed, this is a, looks like a cash bag from Papa Gleb. It lives in New York City. And I don't know if you guys, uh, all of you might not have seen these before. It's a seven pin tumbler lock and I hope you can make it out by MMF Industries uh, in Illinois. It's a seven pin lock and the way it works is the zipper is actually lodged up underneath this little plunger here. So when you unlock it the plunger pops up and then you can open the zipper. Right now it's impossible to get. It's used to transport cash to the bank, uh, evening receipts for example. Uh, not, I mean you could always cut it open but it keeps an honest guy honest I suppose. Alright, I'm going to try looking at this keyway. Oh, by the way, there's something in here. Not Well, maybe it is cash. I got my fingers crossed. Help pay for this vacation. All right, so I think I can use top of the keyway. There we go. It will definitely will not fit in the vise, so i got to hold this in my hand. And looking at the keyway, I'm going to just try a standard hook first, see, how, see what that gets. As I've picked one of these before. We use these on bags very similar to this uh, for classified documents. And I felt like pin six. Just looking for a binder. Pin two gave me a click. Okay, I got a very slight turn on the core now. Uh, the ones that I picked at work from the same company, they do not have security pins. And I'm just assuming this one also does not have them. So I'm going to stick with light tension and just look for a binder. Okay, that was pin 5. By the way, Papa Gleb did not send me, a, well maybe there is a key for this, but it's inside the bag. Okay, that was pin 2 again. Check pin one there, and there we go. All right, so when that little thing pops up, then you can see the zipper will then slide open. So let's see what Papa Glab put in here. Hopefully it is cash. Okay, so we got, I think that's it. Nothing else in there? A bag of other, probably challenge locks. All right, mortise cylinder. It is a no-name mortise cylinder. Another no-name mortar cylinder. This one looks like somebody been monkeying around with it. Must be challenge locks. And the last one, and oh, there's a key taped to the side of it. Okay. And another one looks like a Schlage key. And somebody looks it looks like somebody it came from New York City. Probably beat the devil out of this with a hammer, it looks like. This thing is mangled and ground upon. And the top's been replaced uh, with Allen screws. This is probably a training lock. But somebody really did put the hurt on this thing. Anyway, Papa Gleb, thank you, sir, for the locks. I'm assuming these are challenges. I'm not stupid enough to ruin a good video by trying to pick one of those right now. Anyway, sir, thank you for the locks. Everybody else, stay safe, stay legal, and we'll get on with these as soon as I can.